Moving back to events in Washington now, today was also the day that the 111th U.S. Congress was sworn in. In particular, it was an historic day for the CNMI's first congressman, Gregorio Kalili Sablan. He joined Congresswoman Berdalio in the congressional studios and he spoke about the historic importance of representing the Commonwealth in the U.S. House of Representatives. Well, I was very humbled. I am very humbled that I am here representing the people of the Northern Mariana Islands um, um, in this uh, Congress. Uh, today I brought with me a Bible given to me by Bishop Camacho uh, because we thought that we'd bring the prayers and hopes of the people of the Marianas to Congress. Um, it took uh, the United States under the trust territory, uh, it was 30 years, it was 32 years, 33 years in the making. And it's also been 32 years since we've been a commonwealth, so it's two generations have passed before we finally, this day came about. And it's Congresswoman Berdalio, who uh, also took the oath of office on, today uh, for the 111th uh, Congress, said she looks forward to working closely with Sablan. He's a new member of Congress, the only member that came into Congress uh, for this term, and we're very pleased about that. And uh, of course, we represent neighboring islands, and as the congressman points out, we are neighbors in the Cannon Building as well. Our offices are just a few feet away from each other. So uh, that's, that's a, a good thing for the people of Guam and CNMI. Following the swearing-in ceremony, both Sablan and Berdalio hosted an open house for members of the Guam and the CNMI community in Washington. Among those showing up were former Congressman Ben Bloss and his son Tom.